And now I'd like us to uh, find a way to be grateful. And to be grateful, I'm going to be thankful, first of all, grateful for Monica Stegeman, who posted a poem today that hit the note right on the head. It's a poem from Carl Sandburg, and I'm going to read this poem, and I think it's really what we want to say about animals. He writes, There is a wolf in me, fangs pointed for tearing gashes, a red tongue for raw meat and the hot lapping of blood. I keep this wolf because the wilderness gave it to me and the wilderness will not let me go. There is a fox in me, a silver gray fox. I sniff and guess and I pick things out of the wind and air. I nose in the dark night and take sleepers and eat them and hide the feathers. I circle and loop and double cross. There is a hog in me, a snout and a belly, a machinery for eating and grunting, a machinery for sleeping satisfied in the sun. I got this too from the wilderness, and the wilderness will not let it go. There is a fish in me. I know I came from the salt blue water gates. I scurried with shoals of herring. I blew water spouts with porpoises before land was, before the water went down, before Noah, before the first chapter of Genesis. There's a baboon in me, clamoring, clawed, dog-faced, yawping at a galoot's hunger, hairy in the armpits. Here in the hawk-eyed, hankering men, here are the blonde and blue-eyed women. Here they hide, curled sleep, waiting, ready to snarl and kill, ready to sing and give milk, waiting. I keep the baboon because the wilderness says so. There is an eagle in me and a mockingbird, and the eagle flies among the rocky mountains of my dreams and fights among the Sierra crags for what I want, and the mockingbird warbles in the early forenoon before the dew is gone warbles in the underbrush of my Chattanooga of hope, gushes over the blue Ozark foothills of my wishes, and I got the eagle and the mockingbird from the wilderness. Oh, I got a zoo. I got a menagerie inside my ribs, under my bony head, under my red-valved heart, and I've got something else. It is a man-child heart. It is a woman-child heart. It is a father and mother and lover. It comes from God knows where. It is going to God knows where, for I am the keeper of the zoo. I say yes and no. I sing and kill and work. I am a pal of the world. I came from the wilderness. Where is the wilderness in you today? You're going to let it out with the moon and howl? going to hide under the covers and scratch? Will you feel your hunger or run away from being someone's dinner? What wilderness is inside you today? Because in that wilderness is the world itself. The whole world, all of creation lies inside of you right now. And so I bid you to say thank you that the wilderness lives in me and comes up every day alive, risen up to live again. Amen and amen. Let's sing, everybody. And you notice when we sing or Ed plays, the animals don't bark. So we get to bark now with For the Beauty of the Earth. Number 21. Let's do it.
forth seeking all of life, embracing it and being embraced by it, the frightful and the furry, the joyful and the frightening. Go forth, my friends, honoring and reverencing the very isness of you and of all that is. This, my friends, is the one wild and precious life you have been given. So find some way to rejoice in it and be glad. Go in peace, make peace. Amen.